what's up guys zema mozis here welcome to my youtube channel helping you uncover all the nitty gritty parts of tech and everything in between now before we proceed guys there's something i need to do now remember to sanitize your hands stay at home to stop the spread of the virus and together we can come now i have a confession guys to make and the one android guys will not really be happy with I've never used an iPhone before and I just made a switch from the Android to the iPhone 11 Pro Max. Actually, I've been using the Technocam on X Pro for two years now and I just made a switch. Now, before now, I've always been an Android fan, a hardcore guy, hardcore fan, but being a tech reviewer, I really changed my mind on, on using phones and how the approach I had towards phones. So I had to change my approach towards phones because being a youtuber was really a big stuff where it really needs you to be that kind of subjective guy where you not be attached to things and you can see specs or your ideas as they are these are my experiences with it i'm not going to go in depth into the specs because i believe there are lots of that on youtube already so this is just actually my experience using it for three months and what were the perks and the perils of switching from now the display comes with the 6.5 inch super retina oled display which according to apple is the strongest on the market because it's the gorilla screen glass now it comes with vibrant and punchy colors which i really like about the smartphone i mean the cohesiveness of the smartphone and everything is just a win from, from the mid-range that is really a big deal i've not really used a smartphone that has a fast uh, touch sensitivity and now the smartphone coming with the 120 hz display really makes it gravy it's smooth and it's efficient the screen is very responsive which i really like and it's a very big difference I, and consuming media on this is really a joy as it comes with the 1242 by 2688 pixels and 458 pixel per inch because thanks to the 800 meter of brightness i mean wherever you are it's very easy to use this smartphone whether you're outdoors or indoors mm. into the performance of this i've used this smartphone for a while and i've played games like pubg like now before using my techno camera x so it actually pubg usually lags and all these things my phone gets hot but using this it's really smooth the experience has really been smooth and i run games without any lag now thanks to the h 3 by a new chipset which only sits third behind the ipad 13 and its variants now this is incredibly fast and i like it because of the functionalities you can get it's easy to run almost anything from this and although it's not a gaming smartphone this phone holds well against its own on any game you can play call of duty and everything i've tried out all those games and they work really well which is really amazing now this is a thumbs for apple it also comes with the ios 13 which is upgradable to the 13.3.1 now the sound performance is really astonishing i mean the speaker glues on the bottom give you this music output that gives you all those subtle effects you would have missed without good head now playing games and movies is such a joy because of the output it's so crisp and it comes with all the sound that you would need on your smartphone this sometimes makes me want to play games or watch movies without my headphones however if i'm playing games there's a problem because i place the phone vertically my hands now block the speaker glows which muffles the sound and dampens the experience for me i don't know about you but this is me so i always I advise users or potential buyers always use headphones when listening or consuming media with this now moving to the camera which i believe is the highlight of the smartphone and you guys would still agree with me it comes with a triple set of cameras on the rear and up front it has um, a dual camera setup now on the rear it has the main camera setup which has the 12 megapixels f1.8 aperture and the ultra wide has the 12 megapixels f2.4 aperture the telephoto comes with the 12 megapixels f2.0 aperture i mean taking pictures with this is really a joy i mean the software functionalities and capabilities of this is on another level like taking pictures on this looks like something that you get straight out of a dslr and i'm not even joking i mean the software processing is very nice i've used the ultra wide the main camera and the telephoto lens and all give me amazing photos i mean the highlights are still intact and the texture overall is good it has good tech detection where it can separate the background from 
the subject i really like that about the iphone and the night mode the night mode is something i also appreciate about this for the dual cameras up front for taking selfies and everything it's really amazing because it has dual cameras which can open up it has a lot of width that allows many people to get into a picture and you can reduce the size it also the dual camera also has capabilities or functionalities to take pictures or videos as high as 4k which i really like and you can also get slow mo from the dual camera also the in-camera stabilization of this when getting footage with the smartphone is outstanding i mean apple really deserve a thumbs up for this this is one of the best things i've noticed i've got it some footages with this and as you can see there was no gear but you feel as though there was a gear or a gimbal that made it stable although trying to run with this you would have some lags when trying to run with this it, it would be shake and everything but if you'd hold it very tightly and everything it doesn't shake for no reason especially maybe for example if you're working or just taking a normal walk this camera wouldn't shake at all so the camera for me is just the deal breaker for me because i came to iphone i wanted to use the iphone because of the camera a lot of reviews have really done have really said good things about this a lot of a lot of reviews have really said good things about this that's why i wanted to use the camera because i just wanted to be part of that experience to have that sensation to have a first-hand feeling of how reviewers feel about this and how they've tested it and i tried it out for myself and i can see i'm not disappointed now getting now battery storage these days is a deal breaker for me now apples really outdid themselves with the 3969 milliamp power battery which is really amazing i mean you can get up to a day easily with this when using it on an average because it comes with 18 watts charging bit which ensures you get up to 100 percent in an hour or a little bit more which i really appreciate about this smartphone what's more you can use this phone on an average use for a day or now heavy users have to hold their horses have not used this phone extensively to ascertain the longevity of the battery storage However, if you really want me to do a battery test, just drop a comment in the section below and I'll make sure I get back to you on that one. Now, as a tech enthusiast, people would always want you to pick a side between the iPhone and the Android. For me, I don't care. I'm for everybody and yet for nobody. But if you'd ask me for an ideal smartphone that I'd want, it would be one that has the functionalities of an iPhone and the flexibility of an Android. Well, since that can't happen, at least not in the near future, I'll have to make a compromise by using the two best smartphone brands out there on the market if stay thoughts by it means you really enjoy the video now if you did smash the like button make sure you like click on the bell notification icon and subscribe so that you get more amazing content from this and don't forget to wash your hands stay at home and remain safe don't forget that you are awesome from me to you right now is goodbye peace